Yo, yo, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Now, this has got to give you a little hint about what I'm reviewing today. If it doesn't, we're just gonna get into it anyway. Let's go. Yes, welcome back everybody. My name is Patrick T. I hope you're all good. If you're new to the channel, I try and do reviews on kicks so you understand whether or not to cop or drop. That's all I want to do. I just want to try and help you decide whether or not to cop or drop. Everyone else, welcome back. To everybody watching, if you haven't already, please subscribe, please hit the notification bell. And if the video gives you context, hit the like button. It, it really does help. And definitely, definitely comment. Let's interact. Let me know what you think of these trains. Let me know if you want to give shout outs to people who done the trainers or you got them or you didn't get them, you don't like them, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Let's just communicate, man. We're sneakheads. Let's get into it, yeah? Now, I've taken my time to do this one. I've had these for a bit, but I wanted to kind of give them justice and give them the, how can I put it? The big up they needed, okay? And we're talking about the collab between Franklin Botan, aka King of Trainers, and Elise. If you don't know, I'm a member of SWO podcast and this guy was generous enough with his time to come on to an unknown podcast and just chat with us. He told us his history in sneakers, whatever, and he gave us exclusive, basically showed us an exclusive footage of his product or his collab with Elise at that time. So if you haven't watched it before, the link's in the bio, go and watch it. You get to know this guy and he's just pure jokes and dance worth. No. Now, as most people do when they have a collab, they do a friends and family. I got invited, but I couldn't go for family reasons. But those people did go. When they got these kicks, they got a little something, something extra with it. And I managed to go and pick these up on a day release itself. So you have to big up Offspring for supporting UK talent, UK collabs like that, and giving him his platform in the Selfridges offspring to deliver not only the trainers but apparel as well like you see now he's done all different power I'm not going to go into power all about the trainers so first thing we've got to do is look at the box now I haven't had an Elise item sneaker for a long time so I can't tell you if this is how they come whatever but we have a white box with Elise branding at the bottom Elise on the back there and chicane colorway there now the details of it on the lease sticker it says a tanker capsule blue and my size and the sticker on it says tanker K O T King of Trainers blue King of Trainers so that's a touch inside the box you just got at least tissue paper and there's a bit more extra tissue paper and then you have the trainers bam no you didn't give me two trainers they come in two colors like this but I'll explain it to you. This has been a four year in the making collab with Elise, okay? And this is big for any, any sneakerhead would love a collab with a brand. And, you know, Elise has been going for decades. Let's not be silly about this. They sponsor some big people. And this is a homage, or how can I put it? This is a shout to his mum who basically helped him find his love of trainers. You know, she, she loved Boris Becker. So every time Boris Becker had new trainers, which he was sponsored by Elise, she would get him Elise. And that's where it started. So he went back to 1985 and Boris Becker won Wimbledon and he's encapsulated all the colours and the least sponsorship and things like that, what happened at that time. So I, I would normally do just one pair in my hand, but because they're two different colours and there's a lot going on in them, I'm going to do them together. But first of all, I have to give a shout out to Franklin, aka King of Trains, and to his mum. Friends and family got a card or a message from his mum here. She's wearing the trainers there, looking fly. And at the back, she's got a long message. It's not a long message, really. It's just a lot of words, just to say how proud she is of her son and for Elise for helping 
him achieve his goals, which any of us would love to have a collab with a Brandler. So big up to his mum there. That's that there. And I think his friends, family editions, they got gold laces and other little bits and stuff like that. So, you know, he went out, he, he looked out for everyone on these ones. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with left foot and do what we normally do. Let's start with the sole. Sorry, I said I was going to start with left foot, but let's start with both of them. See the soles, two different colours. It's got at least right through the middle of the shoe on both colours. You've got a light blue and you've got a dark blue. And then you've just got some hexagon grip, etc., going through the shoe on that side. The left foot is a light blue. I call it like a baby blue, if I'm honest with you. It's all suede, and I'm telling you, it's premium suede. There's no, there's no mucking about this. And for the pricing of this, I know if this was Jordan, minimum two hundred pound. But I'll get into the price a little later. Here you have just basic baby blue suede. Overlay is exactly the same color. You've got Elise in plastic through the middle there. It looks like it's translucent or it, it glows. I'm not too sure. I haven't had these in the dark, but don't quote me on that. You've got some air holes there around the bottom of the shoe. And going around to the heel of the shoe, you have embossed in there the year 1995. That's the year embossed Becker one Wimbledon, obviously. And then underneath that, you've got a baby blue and white Elise symbol on the heel. The laces are a kind of waxy style lace, which is quite quality, nice touch to it. And again, on the tongue, which again is in the suede, printed on there with Elise just at the top. If we go to the right trainer, again, it's dark blue, Elise symbol at the bottom on the sole. Midsole again is dark blue, that cushion in there. I don't know what the midsole was made of at the time, but you know, it's a tennis shoe. So it had to have a bit of wedge to it and also have comfort. Again, you've got nice premium suede going through. You've got the Elise logo in plastic sewn into the shoe. This time on the shoe though, you have the year 1995. Again, I think that's a year Boris Becker won Wimbledon as well, or it could be Franklin's birthday. I'm not too sure. I, I, he's gonna cuss me out for this, so I should know, but I'm not sure. But you've got 1995 there on this one. The inner sole, Again, has 1995 written with the least symbol on top. And again, the laces are this one, a dark blue, waxy type looking lace. And again, on the tongue, you've got 1995 with the least branding on that. You can see this is quality. You can just see the transition of colors when you brush across the suede. So this is not a, like a high rough suede. It's just a nice suede showing you that it's quality and added into this trainer. Now, like I said before, He's done it in two different colorways because basically, if you look at old tracksuit with Boyce Becker, they're in different tones of blue and white. So as you can see on the top, I've got here, which is a part of the collab. So they not only gave him trainers, they gave him a apparel collab as well, which I think had a whole tracksuit, t-shirt like this, a polo shirt, some shorts. It's just there. Go on the Offspring website and you'll see them all. So you, you can see he's kept to the theme of the silhouette, the collab, which was his mum's love for tennis and Boris Becker at the time. say for a collab I'm so proud I have to say these are true to size they feel like a typical Elise I can't I can't describe it anymore to you I mean these are old silhouette and they've stayed true to it you're not you're not they're not uncomfortable they're very comfortable they're padded where they want to be padded they just feel like a nice throwback to an OG but with quality, quality material. I, I just don't even know what to say. I feel like I'm waffling now. Really happy for my guy. This was something I had to get my hands on. Big up to Offspring for supporting because listen, it's big when you get someone you know having their own collab. It's very rare. Well, maybe my circle ain't that big, but for me, it's very rare. Not only has he just asked to come celebrate with us, he's, he's invited you into his realm to celebrate and he's given like I said, the friends and family, he's given them little bits and bobs. He invited you all to Austria. He tells me he was there to take pictures of everyone. And it was just a good vibe. He, he just 
he was never tired to say thank you. And that's hard these days, man. You don't get people like that. So. Big up Franklin, aka Dream Trainers. Nice collab with Elise. Big up Elise and all their team for giving that opportunity to him. I believe you can still get these. These cost a hundred pounds. That's it, a hundred pounds. And I'm telling you now, I've just done a review on the Jordan One taxis where they have finally gone back to some true quality leather and they cost me 170 pounds. So what can I say? King of Trainers and Elise in the Tanker Silhouette. I'll leave a link below where you can try and pick these up. I think there's still some, but I know they sold out. My size wasn't even there. I had to go and order them online. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit notification bell. This video got a few context, so you want to comment on it. I just want to say whatever you want to say. Comment, man. I'll always reply back. Ask me, Patrick T. I'm out. Peace.